So hello there. I wanted to introduce the system I've created. Uh, it took me about a year and a half to put all of this together. Um, it's a four-way stereo active system with uh, completely refurbished and modified Yamaha NS1000M speakers. Um, so they've obviously, you know, been completely remodeled. They have as far as the cabinets, they have MDF bracing now, not bracing, but they're, they're um, strengthened with MDF, the, the cabinet itself, and then bracing inside is stiffened additionally. Um, there are no more pots basically that were attenuating the signal for highs and mids that all of it is out. These are just straight drivers going out to three terminals in the back each terminal, you know, fitting to a single driver. Obviously, since this is four-way stereo active, you have three power amps down here that are AB running this thing. Oh, getting low has become difficult in my age. Um, so yeah, and then we have this star of the show here that we're gonna explain a little bit later. Um, and then, you know, it's three, AB amps going into the Yamahas and then two real subwoofers with their own active amps over here. So yeah, but the star of the show here is this thing that I've created. It's um, it's two buffered eight channel active crossover that serves as a preamp deck and then a streamer as well. If you look closely, you can see that this is actually a heavily modified mini DSP flex eight. We bypass the op amps from this thing, and we're going straight from the DAC to, to tube output uh, buffers. So this thing was designed, the, the, the main thing here was, obviously we have the ECC82 tubes going out to, to um, this is all um, going out to uh, capacitors, what you see here are Duland bypass capacitors. If you look underneath, I don't know if you can see it or not, maybe from this side, there we go. That's the Mundorf one microfarad. And then we have 0.22 bypasses with Duland's. Um, and then we've also designed a passive filter to sort of filter out any, any of the digital harshness or anything you know weird coming out of these things which are essentially just you know mini pcs call them whatever you like but we we designed a, a, a passive analog filter sort of and the 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 whole idea of these tubes was to bring life to the music and to so what i've learned in this i basically my idea was to do something basically like a lampizator for an active eight channel crossover, which is something I couldn't buy. So I decided to design it myself and I've actually done a tremendous job, meaning this setup as it is right now gives life and sparkle to the music much in the same way you get out of, you know, lampizator DAX, but it's active. And that means that you get the, you know, the, the, tremendous mid-range and, and the sparkling highs and whatever you really prefer out of passive, but you get it with the directness and the speed and the dynamics of the active setup. So in that sense, this is something that I always wanted to design. And I wanted to do a solution that's pretty much one box solution. Actually, it's two boxes. So uh, besides this um, output two buffer stage, we down here, we have a two rectified um, so two analog uh, linear power supplies, there are two rectified and then a digital power supply for each of these uh, digital devices. So all of the you know, power supplies are in the box below. The upper box is obviously just the audio signal. Mm, this thing is actually now running with Wi-Fi since I don't have a way to connect a LAN cable here at the office. But in essence, I think it would sound even better with a LAN cable, obviously. But the sound itself is so good that there is, I, I'm, 
I have a tremendous passive system and there's nothing that I can compare this sound with basically. It's it's got all of the lifelike characteristics of the passive system, but it's got the directness and as I said the transparency and the incredible dynamics of an active system. The Yamahas are doing a tremendous job in that sense. The beryllium mid-range and the beryllium tweeter, tweeter are awesome. You hear none of that, those issues that you used to have with the passive crossover here and the attenuators and everything else in this box. It just plays wonderfully. But obviously this is, you know, if you wanted to do better with this setup, you would connect, you know, top of the line new speakers basically with this thing that are prepared for active, right? And then you can use better subs or whatever, but for an office system, this is more than enough for me. It, the sound is better comparably to anything I heard out of passive, no matter the price, no matter the, the scale, no matter what. Truly, the Duelands have, and yeah, I just recently bypassed the Mundorfs with the Duelands and um, added some additional passive filtering for the digital um, harshness or whatever grunge coming out of the digital. And this was done in such a way that it brought 3D lifelike, just the immediacy to the music that's unbelievable. You, you literally, like I would listen to the same blues song and I would hear, I used to hear just one flat stage with all of the instruments just being laid out flat in front of me. And now you literally like, actually hear the drums being in the back and just the 3D just jumped out as soon as I sort of made that um, modification to, to this, um, I call it cortex because it's the core of the system or whatever, the brain of the system, but let's call it the little brain of the system basically. And then finally, one thing I've designed is what has bugged me about um, active systems all my life, which is when you make a truly active system, that means a lot of stereo amps, right? And a lot of knobs to, to flick in order to switch everything on or off. And so I've designed this power strip right here that actually has relays inside and a sequence that goes from one way um, as you turn it on to the other way, basically, as you turn things off. So in the, it always does things in the correct sequence and so instead of going out here in the back, turning this thing on with all of its knobs and switches, I just come out this way and I press this thing here. It's like a guitar pedal basically and everything starts turning on. So it starts, as it turns on, it starts with the brain of the system that will turn off all of the power amps basically. And so I can go down go back to my, uh, you know, table here, my uh, office desk and just sit down and wait for everything to, to turn on and listen to the music. So there you have it. I wanted to present this real quick because I think it's a really amazing achievement and sort of the way forward for how I see hi-fi developing. And it's just tremendously disheartening in a way to, to, to think about how much money I spend on my passive gear to get to a certain level where you actually, with this thing, you get to, to a level that you just couldn't get to with passive no way. And, and you spent less money, but you use more brains to get there. So, I mean, I'm proud of it at one hand, but on the other hand, the fact that I've <laughs> spent so much money on my passive stuff makes me feel like, I don't know, somewhat of a fool, let's say. But when it comes down to it, for me personally, if I had to choose between the excellence of sound and the prestige that you get with, you know, high-end gear, I definitely just choose the, you know, the excellence of sound. Screw it. That's the most important thing for me. So there you have it. Thanks for uh, listening.